Okay guys, so today I'm here with a full video showing you how to jailbreak on iOS 4. Now guys, before we begin, there's a lot of disclaimers I gotta give you. For one guys, this is not out for all jailbreak, I mean for all devices. And two, it is, of course, iOS 4 is not fully out yet. Okay, so guys, let me roll through what you need. Okay, now you need either Windows or Mac, it is out for both. Um, and you will need either an iPod Touch second generation, and guys, it needs to be an MB model. Um, if you don't know how to look for that, I'll actually show you in just a second. So if you have an MB model, an original second generation iPod Touch, or an iPhone 3G, no no other device will work with this. Okay, so guys, if you have all this, then you will need to be running iOS 4. Um, this is really simple, guys. Just download it. You don't even need to be a developer. Just download it and uh, restore your device or update it. I had to restore, but you guys might have better luck updating it. But at any rate, guys, you need to be running iOS 4. And to show you guys that I am running iOS 4, um, I'll show you um, I have a folder here. So we have the folder. Um, I can go ahead and create a new folder. So let's just pick up something and just drop it on something else. So as you can guys can see, I have folders. Uh, looks good to me. And actually, I'll go ahead and settings and just show you guys just to prove that I am running iOS 4. Go ahead and general, about. And guys, as you can see here on the bottom, it says version 4.0, and also it shows that my model number is an MB, okay? So, guys, there you go. I am running iOS 4, the Golden Master, the GM, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, guys, so before you do this, though, I've got to, I've got to let you know this is not going to be for everyone iOS 4 obviously lots of stuff will not work as far as jailbreaking. Um, you can go ahead, a lot of the apps won't work. Um, so guys, just a little bit of a word of caution, unless you're an advanced user, maybe if you're a developer, um, unless you just absolutely have to be on the front, I really don't recommend this yet. Red Snow will be updated once iOS 4 is fully announced, I mean rather, fully out, and of course this, everyone will probably have to re-jailbreak as soon as it happens anyway. But guys, if you want to go ahead and you have all the stuff, everything works, you ready to go ahead and do it, it's very simple, okay? So guys, the first thing, once you're on iOS 4 and you do know that your device is ready, then all you have to do is come over to your Windows or Mac computer. Okay guys, so the next step is to go ahead and download Red Snow 0.9.5. Now guys, before you do this, there are one last thing I'd like to say. Um, now, of course this might be a little bit buggy and glitchy, but you cannot do this if you are uh, uh, unlocked currently, your iPhone's unlocked, because this will lose your unlock, and trust me guys, you don't want to go through this. Besides guys, I recommend go ahead and do this, if this is like your everyday device, like if, you're, if you still use your iPhone 3G every day, I wouldn't recommend this in the first place because it will be a bit buggy and a bit glitchy. But guys, just you know, a word of warning, you know, of course you can do whatever you want. So guys, go ahead and come to this page, um, I'll have it linked in the description, you can go ahead, I definitely recommend you guys read through it, I'm telling you guys pretty much everything anyway, but still guys, it never hurts to, you know, to just get a little bit more information. So guys, once you've read it all, then you can go ahead and find the download links. Do you want to get it for OS X or for Windows? Okay, so all, all you have to do is just download it, and of course I am doing this on Windows. So guys, now I have it on my desktop, so let's go ahead and open it up, and then open up. Mm -hmm. So now guys... It's going to go ahead and, you know, just the standard red snow. And it will go ahead, basically all it's telling you is that it does not activate iPhones. And, yeah. So, guys, now we're going to have to look for the IPSW for our current firmware. Okay, so let's go ahead and find it really quickly here. So, just find wherever you have your iOS 4. I still call it iPhone OS 4. Just find wherever your firmware is. So, this is just happening where I have, oops, no, that's not the right one. This is where I happen to have it. Okay, so guys, make sure that it is the right firmware. So as soon as you're done with that, go ahead and let it start processing. Okay, it will just take one second, and then it'll ask you if you have an MC model. Okay, now guys, if you do have an MC model, you do not want to do this. So no, I do not have. I have mine is an MB model. Okay, so we're all set. Okay, guys, so we're all set. We have Red Snow, and it's already gotten our 4.0 firmware. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click next. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and just download the jailbreak data. And of course, guys, if you've ever used Red Snow, this is practically the exact same way. So, you know, if you've already used Red Snow before in the past, like I have, it should be a piece of cake. Okay? So, guys, now, of course, in Red Snow, you have a few options. So, I'll go ahead and just zoom in on them here. You can obviously install Cydia, and guys, that's what you want to do. That's the whole point. Um, you can have verbose boot, which basically allows you to actually see the uh, the text going by instead of just staring at the Apple logo. Really, it's pretty uh, pretty optional. You can go ahead and do a custom boot logo or custom recovery logo. 
I'm not going to do that today, guys. That's a pretty cool feature of Red Snow, but, you know, it's not that big a deal. And now, guys, here are three really major things. Do you want to enable multitasking, enable a home screen wallpaper, and enable battery percentage? Guys, they're all three checked by default, and I would, you know, just leave them. I mean, that's the whole point that you're jailbreaking on your iPod Touch or your iPhone, to get all three of these features. Because, I mean, if you don't want them, you can go ahead and uncheck them, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to hit Next. So, guys... Now, basically, you have to make sure the, the device is off and plugged into the computer, okay? So, guys, if it's not off, plug into the plug the, into the, it into the computer first. So, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, guys, it is on right now. So, let's go ahead and plug it into the computer. So, just plug the USB cable in. If I can get it in. There we go. Something about plugging in cables while I'm on camera always goes badly. It's correct because I have no depth perception because I'm looking through the camera. All right, okay, so guys, go ahead and plug it in. And guys, if iTunes does pop up, go ahead and shut down. That's not a big deal. So, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So now we just go ahead and hold it and shut it off. So guys, just hold the power button. No big deal. Slide the power off, and we're good. And of course, there goes iTunes. So let's go ahead and close that out. Okay, so. Like I said, guys, iTunes, it's not a big deal. So, guys, you can see it's off. We're ready to begin. So, guys, now, once the device is off, and, you know, totally off, guys, and nothing's going on, it's not, it's sleep, it's totally off, then we're ready to roll. So, we just go ahead and hit next. And now, we're going to go ahead and hold the power button for five seconds. Now, hold down the home button for about ten seconds. And, guys, these instructions do go pretty fast. So, we'll wait just one second. And without releasing the home button, we'll release the power button and keep holding the home button for about 30 seconds. So guys, this might take a couple tries. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to, you know, to cover because the instructions start very quickly. But uh, we'll go ahead and just hold it. And guys, if something does go wrong, if it doesn't work, then just go ahead and hit back on Red Snow and then try it again. So let's go ahead and keep holding it. There we go. So guys, we are done. That is pretty much it. So iTunes is loading up again, so we just go ahead and close that out. So guys, as you can see here, my iPod has a blank screen, and it is still just waiting for reboot. So I'll go ahead and just stick with you guys here. And there we go, guys, downloading jailbreak data. Okay, guys, we're all done. So it just took a minute. I'm, I just I'm connected it. It's because as soon as it's done, you're all set. So guys, as you can see here, we have Cydia. Um, now guys, Cydia will have a blank icon. Um, I believe all you have to do is open it up and run it once and we'll fix that. But guys, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and show multitasking and stuff. So actually, let's go ahead and show changing the background. So let's go ahead and come into wallpaper. So let's go ahead and pick one. So go ahead, wallpaper, actually, anything. Let's go ahead and pick save photos. Let's just pick the drip for the fun of it. So that looks good to me. So we want to set lock screen, home screen, both. Let's set both. Okay, we're all set. So if we come out here, there we go, guys. So guys, that obviously works. And if we go ahead and close it, you'll see. It works really nicely. Actually, I like kind of like the fact that the image looks like it stays. Um, so guys, let's go ahead and show multitasking really quick. So let's go ahead and open up settings. Double tap the home button. And you see, actually, it's got Cydia running right now. Let's go ahead and back out of this. Let's open up uh, music. And let's double tap again. And now, as you can see here, we have settings, so we can jump right over to settings. And guys, obviously, this is on iPod Touch second generation, and it works just fine. So guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, you, we, we won't have to be relying on city apps to do this, but of course, you know, there's a lot more city apps that we do want. So anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you out. If you have any problems, just feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.